What's up, y'all? It's Craze the King of Content with another exclusive Word is Born episode with the God King Son. Tonight, we was fortunate to have the lyricist, the legend, Bumpy Knuckles, get on the line. And it was just great to hear those brothers go back and forth and talk about hip-hop and see the camaraderie and fun that they can have between each other. Make, y'all, make sure y'all subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell, and share these links. Let's go. You know Craze is going to bring it to you. Bump, what's up? You can get on the line with us? Yeah, come on. Let's do it. All right, all right. I'm going to merge you in. King Son, I got Bump on the line. Son, what up? Bump who? Who the fuck is Bump? <laughs> you better act like you know, nigga. <laughs> if, if, if I don't know what's going to happen to me, nigga. <laughs> hey, hey, I'll tell you what. Whatever happened, I wouldn't, I wouldn't forewarn you, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, so you got all up. Oh, so you got Fox on the phone. You got the guy, little brother on the phone. What up, kid? What's good, guy? I'm good. How you feeling, bro? I'm great, guy. And shit, this platform, we need this. You know, look, nigga, all I got to tell you is Ebola. Me? <laughs> look, you, no, you know I got XM Radio, right? Yeah. And it's like, fuck, I'm like, yo, babe, look, listen to Fox and Bismarck. Get that shit off right now. Yeah. Oh, you listen to you Fox feel me? Yeah, hell yeah. So you know, you know, I know Bumpy and shit. And look, ain't no niggas in New York fucking with Bumpy. Yeah, what's good with you, man? How you been? I've been good, God. I'm great. I, I push a Lexus. I got a little 25-year-old white bitch. I keep 5000 in the pocket. I'm, how much more can I be? You get healthy? I'm healthy? Shit, I ain't got cancer. I'm alive. I'm about to be 52. What? I, I hear that. That's what's up. You feel me? But you, you run around with John Cena, you run around with wrestling motherfuckers and shit. Uh, you know you. Man. <laughs> I, mean, I gotta work. I can't, I can't sit around and wait for nobody to give me nothing. I gotta go get it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo. You know, look. When uh, my man Craze called me, right? And me and Craze was talking, I put Robert Hill on the phone. Oh, no doubt. I think I heard that. You remember Robert Hill, right? How could I forget, man? It's OG right there. And, and, and you know Robert Hill came to me with your first shit. Like, yo, this dude named Freddie Fox, what you think? I was like, sign that nigga right there. Yeah. Remember that? Robert Hill. Yeah, well, Jerry Blood Rock. Or Blood Jerry Blood, Blood Rock. Rock. And, right. But not so crazy. I said, yo, look. Eric B. Rock Kim. King Son, Cutmaster DC, Freddie Fox, we all came from the same motherfucking tree. And we we know like Robert Hill, we know he that was more than a record label. That was the shit, Fox. You know you know he what he hit me with. I don't know if he ever hit you with some shit. What's that? What's that? So he hit me Virginia, 
nigga. I went and started rocking. That white thing Eric B is who he is. Yeah, I could not. I, I think that was before. I, I think I came at it, dog. I never was around. Yeah, because you was wearing, you was wearing that Chinese shit. Remember you did like a video, like you was wearing Kung Fu shit yeah. and all that? Yeah, so that's, that's what I was into, beat the up. <laughs> nah, but look, hold up. The A5, A crazy, what I told you. I said, what me and Riz and them niggas was into? Chinese flicks and all that. Y'all was into that. We was in the motherfucking Kung Fu shit. Why you think I got yeah. Iron Hand Clan right now? Fox, you want to get down with Iron Hand Clan? this motherfucking dude out of the king. Okay, fuck, First of all, you know I know your brother. So that's, you, you know I know the God. The God was the realest and the illest. Yeah, you feel me? And I told you that. Like, the gods are realest and the illest. And you a beast, like, you a big. You can fuck with me and Just Dice. Yeah. Remember, we, you remember when me and you were supposed to box in the celebrity boxing shit? Yeah, I just, yeah they, they told me you were supposed to box. They told me that you were supposed to. I boxed in the celebrity shit. It's supposed to be me, you. Who else was it? Um, K- K- uh, LL, EPMD, all the niggas I was supposed to box canceled out. But it was you. Remember Melly Mel and um, the nigga from, um, the nigga from um, Melly Mel and Willie D knocked each other out uh, uh, on 35th? Uh, no, they didn't knock each other out. That's not true. What Melly Mel got knocked out. Willie D, I think he slept on, I think he slept on Willie D. He slept D. on him. Yeah, yeah, Willie D put the hands on him for sure. I was, I seen that. Uh, that's the only. And who you fought? I fought a couple of niggas. I fought uh, 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 one kid named was Spook, Spook Blunt, or something like that. Another kid named was Dope E from a group I think called it the Terrorists or something like that. You Spook, um, Spook Blunt from the Bronx. Yeah, he he filled in. And what happened was Tim Dog was supposed to box. In the, in the match. Right, Tim Dog was yeah, supposed to fight me. Right, and he didn't show up. And then, so so when when uh, he didn't show up, they made a match between me. I guess because everybody felt like they was they, they made a match between me, which was on top of the match I already had against the other guy, against another guy. So I just said, "Fuck it, it's a fight. Let's get in and rock." And there wasn't no time to be, you know, I'm tired. I wasn't tired. As a matter of fact, I fought him with a dislocated shoulder. I had a dislocated so I fought with one hand. Me and yeah, you was supposed to fight, man. And now I don't know what yeah. happened. Niggas is like, yo, you yeah, gotta so fight you. Fox. I was gonna fight you. You ain't wanna do that, dog. You ain't wanna do that. You miss me with you the bullshit, you. Fox. Yo, <laughs> yo, God, you know. Come on, son. Don't be on here lying. Don't be on, hey, don't be on here lying. Hey, Fox. Hands me, I was there. Look, I'll send you the pictures. We was at her 35th. <laughs> yeah, Fuck. I was supposed hey, to fight you. Ain't you. Never show up. you ain't never show up one time to the gym to train. I, we was in Gleason's gym. I ain't never see you. No, oh, because we never had the train. Motherfucker, it was rap celebrity boxing. It was right. like everybody yeah. everybody was training, dog. Everybody was training. Everybody was training. Hey, yo, crazy. And Gary mm-hmm. Braverman, Gary, Gary, hey, listen, crazy. Mm-hmm. let me tell you something. Gary, I, hey, I'm going to tell you the truth. Gary Braverman, the guy who put this together name was Gary Braverman. He came around. Mm-hmm. He came around. To Eric, he came to Eric B. House. He said, yo, man, I'm looking for fighters. And the first person they called out the house, 9-5 was me. And they said, put Fox in there. He'll fight anybody. And I was like, all right, bet. Everybody had a rule. We had to go to the... I was working out with Iran Barkley. And I was... Everybody had an artist that they was training. Iran Barkley, Kevin Kelly, all of them was picking fighters to work so out. So, see, you telling me some shit I don't know. Because you know how them niggas came at me? The niggas came to motherfucking death jam and said, yo, we need motherfucking fighters. And me and LL, I'll see you the pictures. That picture with me... LL got his motherfucking hood on and all that shit, but with, with me, LL, EPMD, all that, that was the motherfucking picture for the motherfucking fight. They didn't tell us to train, and I was like, I'll fight anybody. So Tim Dog, when we look, when Tim Dog couldn't fight, they was like, King Sir, you gotta fight Freddie Fox. I was like, that's my man. It's all good. 
up, hold up, hold up. Hey. Hey. Let, 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 no, no, not at all. Not at all. Hold on. This ain't no setup. This ain't no punk shit. You ain't, you ain't built like that fuck for me. Though. Maybe one of these other niggas out here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. I got a question for y'all. I got a question for y'all. Hold on. I got a question. Hold on. Hold on. I got a question. I got a question. My question was, this is my question. And why we had you on the phone was we was going to talk about how you felt or we was talking about Mayweather and the whole Gucci thing. Shit. That's what you was that's what we was gonna talk about. How you your thoughts. About, that, about him wearing Gucci? No, just how he yeah, how he came across he on TMZ. Gucci, and they, and us and shit like that. How you feel about that? That's what we was talking about. I think at, at, at some point at, at some point everybody has to take a stand for something that they believe in. You can't force people to believe in what you believe in. I think we I think we right. get caught up too much too I think we get caught up a lot just, just believing that people are like us in a certain way. Certain people everybody don't have the same standards and principles as you know, each other. So, you know, that dude got a lot of money, man. Money changes people. So if, if maybe maybe if he wasn't so you know if he wasn't so well off, he might see the he might see the point of, of people who he perceived to be as smaller than him. But, but fuck, you know, I, you, you fuck. If you had all that nigga money, would you be the nigga that he is? I'm gonna be the nigga I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna right. be the person that I am. I'm never gonna. Never so, gonna so how would you how would you stand on that? I stand on it different than he would. I I, I, would, I wouldn't fuck with them. I, you know, I got good. Gucci shit in my closet that I'm not fucking with now. Right, we got like, Gucci you know, purses and we got them. Right. right. And you would be like, yo, boom, like, I'm not rocking, I got a motherfucking Dapper Day. All my shit Gucci is Dapper Day shit. I got $1,500 shit, $200, $2,000 shit, Dapper Day shit, that's Gucci. I will never rock that shit no more. I'm giving that away. But my motherfucking that's point you is, can't, you, you gonna can't say, you can't expect him to do that. You may want right, him to do that, but right. whether he do, you know, you can't expect you can't expect Floyd Mayweather to be who you want him to be. He got to be who he is, and if that's who he is, you have to make the decision on how you handle him. You know, from that from that. Perspective. How you feel about him as a boxer, Fox? Yeah, I, I like him as a boxer. He's a, he, he does what boxers do. They they box. You know what I mean? He ain't no. <laughs> now see, now, now see, you know like, now that's what me. Now look, fuck. Now I'm gonna fuck you up. Now if I see you outside of a ring, I'm punching you in your face. Because that nigga is a motherfucking. You gotta get your hands near my face and I'll buy you lunch. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying, look. Just look. Just look. Just what I'm now saying. look, I'm gonna okay. snuff. You gonna hear it. Get caught up in 
and feeling more so comfortable to critique everybody else's personality based on how you feel. Right, so that's just that, it, it, it is it is what it is. But at the end of the day, if Floyd Mayweather, if Floyd Mayweather was broke, nobody would give a fuck what he thinks. So right. everybody right. in his pocket, everybody took a nigga's pocket that they feel like they can have that that automatically gives them a path to say what they feel about a person. I don't give a fuck what Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather do or what how he do it. That motherfucker ain't giving me no money. He ain't paying my bills. Right, cool you right. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. so at the end of the day, if it's just a small talk and the conversation, you want to say, hey, what you think about Floyd Mayweather? You know, I don't give a fuck about Floyd Mayweather, to be honest with you. I can mm-hmm. care less what he do. I, I, listen, he ain't, if he do something to catch my eye, he'll probably be building a school somewhere and helping somebody be as good as Thank or have the opportunity to be good That's the fuck I know. Other than that, other than that, I don't really give a fuck about what Floyd Mayweather do. You know what I'm saying? All the gold chain shit, all the flossy bullshit, because we did that, guy. We done did that. Yeah, we did. And those guys out here who feel like, they feel like that shit is important in their life, and those things make them who they are, and maybe so. But I can care less, man. I watch all these dudes floss, and it's a bunch of niggas, not just men. It's a bunch of dudes out here flossing, and, and, and if they really packed into their struggles and where they come from they do less bragging and more teaching so right. as far as I'm concerned I don't give a fuck about none of them niggas I, I, I'm gonna be 100 with you I don't have no beef with them and I don't really particularly care to have too much love for them either so it just don't make them, it doesn't matter to me I, right. I, I don't give a so fuck you, I really don't you still my little brother that I know and love always been nice. Fox always been nice. Everybody know that. I know Fox always been nice, <laughs> but this was the first time I heard Fox. Right. But listen, I know Fox is a beast. We got a lot of beasts out there. Like, G-Rap is a beast. Polo is a beast. Like, see, Freddie Fox, King Sun, we come from B-Sets, nigga. We come from, if you can't hold your motherfucking own, you'll get robbed or beat up. Is that where you from, Fox? Look, he talking all smooth and suave. He know where the fuck he from. <laughs> Look, run up on Freddy Fox and get punched in your motherfucking mouth. You feel me? <laughs> That's why I, I, I can talk the shit I'm talking to because if I 
I run up on Fox and punch him in the mouth, it ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be smooth like, okay, son, beat up a nigga. Fox, Fox gonna take my spleen or some shit. We, all I'm saying is this, have, I hope you got life insurance. That's all I can say. <laughs> I got life insurance. I work for Amazon. You think you better have life insurance. But, 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 but at the end of the day, right. music, which is where I like to keep, like, where I like to keep spaces, we always try to be better at MCs. We are, you know what I'm saying? We run, this is the music business. Right. When you step on right. stage, your gun, your fuck, your knuckle game, none of that shit don't mean nothing if your rhymes is whack. Right. So, man, right. Let's, 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 let's go there. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of dudes out here that talk that tough Tony shit that can't rhyme. So they need to be somewhere talking about fighting and not about music. So right. when it came down to music, I always try to be a MC each, each, each time. More for more. all the listeners oh, that's right. listening, for all the listeners that's listening, this is Freddie Fox, and Freddie Fox is a beast. If you ever try to step to him, don't ever try to step to a Freddie Fox unless you're King Son. But listen, you you feel how like look, you see like Fox and Rock Kim and like all the real motherfuckers is like smooth and like we about hip hop and that's what we are about. Why you don't got no music out, bro? Let's talk about that. Right. Because I ain't putting no music out. No, I sent my shit in today, and look, you know what? I'm glad you on the motherfucking phone, because I brought on Roxanne Shante, because you got some shit with Jay-Z and Tony Braxton that I want to hear. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. So it's, it's not hey, it's, hey, yo, you fuck with Lil Fan, you fuck with my niggas from Saratoga. What was the name of that shit? Um, it was the end it was like... Head count. Fucking count. And, 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 and I was like, yo, I was on the phone with Craze. When I heard that shit, I was like, you know what I did, Fox, right? I called Shantan and said, yo, bitch, I said, bitch, you can't get my shit on the motherfucking radio. Pretty Fox got his next shit out with motherfucking M.O.P. and these niggas. If that bitch don't reply, I'm a killer ass. He's crazy. Yo, dog, yo, 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 crazy. You got me on the phone with this crazy motherfucker, man, talking stupid like that. Man. Listen, I ain't know, listen, I ain't know what was coming out of his mouth. We supposed to be talking about Mayweather. Shut up, nigga. Hey, Fox, you know I ain't tell what I said and shot and say that shit, but I was thinking that in my mind. <laughs> 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 but I heard the new Fox shit, and look, I ain't even over, I'm not over the you and Bismarck, the Ebola shit. I ain't over that shit like, boom, 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 boom. I ain't over that shit like, yo, Fox and Ben's killing it. Hey, yo, Man, you got like your second that, that, song on there. That shit, that, that shit, that shit, that shit should inspire you. To make music, bro. I'm 52 years old next month. Bro, and I got, and I'm, bro, I got four hot flavors. Hey, Craze, yeah. did, did I not just send you two hot flavors, Craze? Yeah, you sent them to me. You they definitely sent me something today. Away. Don't front, nigga. No, no, he sent me something today. Send me the motherfucking Fox. Send me the email, and I'm gonna send your hot shit to you. I'm killing Wu Tang. Fuck Riz and them niggas. I'm killing niggas, man. I don't, I don't believe you, man. I love Wu Tang. Yeah, okay, you don't believe me? Send me your email. Pick, pick one of them niggas that you nicer than. Pick one of them that you nicer than. I, and, and, and tell me. I'm nicer than Method Man. It's eight and Fox. Look, send me your email, and I'm going to send you the song. And when you hear the motherfucking song, you're going to be like, hey. yo, King Son, ain't your bullshit. King Son, hold on, man. Hold on a second, man. Hold on. Fox, let me let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this right now. Let me say this right now. No, I didn't know. We were supposed to be talking about Floyd Mayweather. That's what I'm telling you. I don't want to talk about Floyd Mayweather. No, 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 no. We did. No, no, no. We did. We did. That's what I'm telling you. Right. But I wanted to get y'all on the phone to 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 just talk about hip hop. 
period. And you know, some of the things y'all encountered back then and, and some of the stories that you might wanna you might wanna take control of this, this interview. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. That's that's you what I'm doing. Do that cause me and right. we so, peace and we presidents and listen, look, let me tell you one thing. You I, you want me to call Eric B, I'll put Eric B on the motherfucking line and Eric B will say, I don't wanna get in this conversation with Freddy Fox and Kid Sun. Right, right. This is a New York conversation, bro. Yeah. So hold on, let me hold on, hold 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 on, sir. Hold on, let me just ask a question. Y'all can answer that, and then we could we could wrap it up. We can wrap well, it up. Ask the, ask the question to, to a specific person that you wanted to answer, right? This motherfucker, this motherfucker <laughs> so, so let me ask Fox a question. Let me ask Fox a question. Fox, why do you think a lot of people or a lot of artists from your age or your 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 demographic or your your um era stop making music why do you think they just stopped uh well, there's a couple of reasons i believe that they get them because number one they don't feel like they don't feel like they're gonna get no you know cash they don't have the money to, to pay radio to play that shit i keep telling them they don't need that okay. and they feel like, you know they they, they following it they're following a, a generic sound that, that's developed by people that, you know, that put for, that put to the forefront something that they don't do. Like, they keep moving this shit along so fast that they're not realizing that, you know, we can, we can still make music. You just keep doing what you're doing. They, you got to get in your own lane, bro. People don't know how to do that. They're they too lazy to work, don't have the money to build a team to help them work the records that they make, or they don't, they don't want to take the time to understand the technology in order to do it. People can't afford to pay for big studios no more. So... In 25 years ago, I was teaching myself what I was going to need to know in 25 years to keep making records. Right. I, I committed to doing this shit for, for you know, everybody always told my hip hop forever, but it's very few people who really do it. A lot of people can talk this shit, but to be able to still get in and grind and tap out beats and, and jump on bar, write bars and spit shit and re record yourself and all that, it's a lot to that shit, man. Everybody ain't cut for that long right. term. They, 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 a lot of these older dudes love to be. You know, they'll book me some studio time. They, we used to have PO purchase orders and all that. You know what I'm saying? You know what that is. And you, right. you know, you got you got studio time. Somebody else got to pay for it. And you got to go there. And there's an engineer there. That, like, that's a, it's a different day now, bro. And right. you got to be... It, um, people that are only, only special, well-paid motherfuckers can do that. Everything else is a grind. And you got to do it yourself. Some people feel like it's too much to have to keep doing. And if you and if the dedication got to be bigger than... I ain't making no money. You know what I'm saying? Gotta be, listen, I'm gonna keep rocking. And, then, and I keep somebody say, yo, Fox, put me on. I'm like, nigga, if you got a Wi-Fi signal, you on already. Right. Just get on. But they don't have, you know, they don't They don't believe that the consistency is there for them, you know, to have radio. Nobody want to come, you know, book them for shows. Or, you know, like I said, when ain't nobody buying downloads, then you switch to underground mode. That's where I'm at. With so, right. I don't know. You know, that's me. I, I, it's, it's about that grind, bro. Right now, I have yeah, one more. Ain't really cut for that grind. I got one oh. more question for you, and then King Son, I want you to uh, close it out with this question. So <sighs> why, why don't you think, Bump, that a lot of these younger artists from this era are interested in what y'all laid down? Why do you, Why don't y'all think they would? Why don't they show that same interest we showed in the artists that came before us? I don't well. I don't believe like that. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't believe that they're not interested. That's not. I don't. I, I okay. think that's a false perception. All right. Tell me. Build on that. Tell me what. What's your thoughts there? I think. I think. I think a lot. I think a lot of them are interested. I think that they feel like a lot of these new cats got their own lane, and I think when you keep beating people up and criticizing what they're doing because it ain't what you're doing, right. it, why would they want to have a conversation with you? You know what I'm saying? I think mm -hmm. OGs. Supposed, supposed OGs is supposed to, you know, embrace these young cats and educate them. Some mm -hmm. cats you can educate, some cats you can't educate. But when your conversation is, man, fuck what you're doing. That shit is whack. That shit sucks. And you keep seeing that shit all over the place. I didn't want to talk to a motherfucker who's down in my generation either. Yeah. So 
fuck them. That's how I felt when I was young. When old heads say, tell me what I can't do. And who, oh, nigga, you ain't Isaac Hayes. Nigga, you ain't going to be Teddy Pendergrass. Or you ain't going to be Al Green. Or you ain't you ain't going to be this. Or you, eh, fuck you. I'll be who I want to be. I don't want to talk to no old motherfucker who was gunning me down on my way to the holler at him. Right. But I turn around and go the other direction. I think they feel that way. I think the ones that you can grab a hold of and build with, you know, you do that. And the ones that don't, you know, that you can't get, you, you keep it pushing. But they, and, and then they also distracted by, you know, what's been put in front, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these cats, they're not MCs. They don't spit bars like that. Then there's a lot of them that do, but the ones that don't, that you see tapping and get money, a lot of that shit is a facade. Dude. A lot of these niggas ain't as rich as they want you to believe they are either. So, mm. you know, they, they, they want more fame than anything else. And they're getting it a lot quicker because that's what's being put in front of them. You know, nothing is, listen, every, if, if, a, if a dude gets shot in the hood, right? Mm-hmm. You know what they gonna probably say about him? If, he, if he's dressed like in, in a hoodie, oh, he was an aspiring rapper. But you never see much of the say, this nigga was an aspiring orthodontist. And he got, right. <laughs> and he got shot in the hood. They always blame the negative shit on hip hop. So, right. you know, that's what these young cats gotta deal with. We dealt with that in some respect, but at the end of the day, man, I don't think young cats are not interested in what we're doing. I think they are interested. I think that I think that when you put that, when you, when you, all this wall building talk, that motherfuckers believing that we can't communicate. That's where my head is at. Right. You know, I don't, I'm not going. I'm not going to be responsible for gunning down the next generation of this of this culture. If cats want to do that shit. That's on them. I'm not going to be a part of that shit. You know what right. I'm saying? And I've been plenty of times when I said, man, let these little niggas do what they do. They done in my way. I'm not in their way. I'm always here for them if they want to holler at me, but. I'm not gonna gun. I'm not gonna run run them down or gun them down. Right. Only way I'm gonna gun them down is if they gun if they gunning at me. That's right. it. Period. Right. And who did, That's my answer and, right and, there. Period. And and, and and King Son, what's your what's your response? Your answer to that as well. My response is like Fox said. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anything with the God said. <clears throat> that's that's real and that's true. You feel me? Right. Because it's like we nice with what we do. Fox nice with what he do. I'm nice with what I do. This, that, and the third. But I just really feel like we we didn't pass it down. Right. You understand? We didn't pass it down to these young motherfuckers and all these niggas is uh, what you call that shit? Uh, blip. And murder rap and all that other mumble little rap, goofy shit. Rap. All the mumble rap shit, right. We ain't passed that shit down. But, you know, you got motherfuckers like Fox, you got motherfuckers like me. That's nice with what we do. And we get at each other, like we battle each other, this, that, and the third. But at the same time, you feel me? Niggas is weak. So what you saying and is so, so what you well, so what you saying is you think that your generation should have kind of gave them more of an idea of who came before them or the right, generation we, of artists. Right now nah, we we should have gave we should have gave these little young motherfuckers something to go off of and yeah. and, and, and we ain't do that. So I got a last question and we gonna wrap it up. And this is coming from okay. guys that's from music. And what, you know, I would consider street knowledge <laughs> brothers, both of you and Fox. So what if you have any thoughts, a lot of these young guys was following the artist Takashi 69 He got into this whole situation with the FBI and facing his time. But I don't know if y'all kind of paid attention to what he was doing, what he was saying in the game. If you if you would see a brother like that following in his footpath, following in his footsteps, I should say. What advice as an OG would you give him to kind of balance him out, Fox, and balance him out, King Son? Fox, go ahead and, and, and let me know um, what your thoughts is. Probably, probably just, you know, surround yourself with music business people. It's a music business. I don't know why everybody gets this shit so twisted. This is a music business. And guys mm-hmm. in the business need to realize this business is about listening, Rapping, beat, it's about it's about that. You know what I'm saying? All that other shit, you know, it, it's sad, man, that 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 that, that everything negative or everything that has to do with 
prison or, 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 or jail or shooting and killing and all that shit follows hip hop more than any other genre of music right. in, in the media. You know what I mean? Because, number one, that's a, that's a lot of the conversation. If you listen to 90% of the hip hop records now, all that shit is about somebody's gun, somebody, somebody's, uh, 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 you know, sex life, somebody's violence or something of that nature. People can say what they want. Yo, Fox, who are you to talk, nigga? You was violent. But this, I fought a different fight. When I did Industry Shakedown, my fight was against, the, uh, was against Mr. Charlie and them. Because I'm saying, y'all motherfuckers is giving dudes 15 cents for their own dollar. What the fuck is that? That right. was my fight. My fight wasn't, mm-hmm. you know, I, I did go at other rappers, but that's the competitive side of me doing that. But but that wasn't, that's not 100% of my conversation in any song. Right. I, I can touch on something. I may give, I may give, when I did the militia, I gave you the energy. I gave you that energy. But if you listen to the words and what I'm saying, you'll see that that's, a lot of this shit is superficial. You know, you know, uh, uh, I'm, 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 a, I'm a cannibal, my like cannibal, or, you know, my gun, my son, you know, from bang, bang, and blocker, block, and all that old stuff. That shit is not lyrics to me, bro. And at the end of the day, you got to keep it about music. If you get people around you to help you nurture your ability to make music and talent and make and make shit, you know, that, that, that you know, re- requires you to get in here and learn something, this shit could be lucrative for anybody. Right. But... When you focus on it, you got a bunch of motherfuckers around you that don't do that. All they know how to do is put the money in place. I said this shit on Energy Shakedown and Intelligent Thug. You know, when street guys got involved with artists, then it changes the whole narrative of what they talked about and the premise behind why they did it. You see? Mm. And that's just what it is, man. You know, motherfuckers start dumping money in behind you. Now not only do you owe, but now he's going to tell you that ain't really what you should be talking about. Talk about this. We create all these plastic fake niggas that don't really abide by what they they really say. And then, and you know, this is music is about fantasy. Music is about a, a, a creative mind. You know, everybody ain't got to be the what they say they are on the record. Right. Some people can tell somebody else's story better than they can tell them they do it through music. Right. You know, when Marvin Gaye wrote "What's Going On," when Marvin Gaye wrote, wrote "What's the um, What's Going On" project, all of those songs were prayers. You know, because. That's what he was praying through music. All the songs are prayers, if you listen to them. Right. So, I mean, no, you don't have to, the, the advice that I give these young dudes is, keep your, keep your music about music. If you want to rap about being a street guy, that's cool. But put music business people around you and move in a certain circle so you don't have to have these kind of outcomes for your life if you're in the music. Or, or, or else, just be a street nigga. You right. know? Right. That's it. Simple. King Son. Close it up real quick. Yeah. What I'm going to say is, Fox is my brother, and he sound like Mal. He sound like smooth and Mal. Like, you know what I mean? I guess guess when a motherfucker ain't talking like he got a mouth full of rocks, and yelling, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just, that's just not, I just, listen, don't, hey, yo, about, hey, about, about balance, man, you know what I mean? Right. You, you, hey, look, you, but, you, you know what? what, let me say, can I say my motherfucking piece? Look, <laughs> Fox, is, 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 he's just like he sounds. He's smooth, he like a Mike Tyson motherfucker, like he's smooth, he's mad, but if he put his motherfucking hands on you, it's going to be a problem. Right. And what he said, <laughs> he said the right shit, right. and he said the real shit, you know, it's like motherfuckers don't realize, you know, what's going on, you know what I mean? But what I'm going to say to that is, and put, put I'm going to put on what Fox said, it's like this. It's like the same thing, man. It's like, you know, motherfuckers don't give a fuck. And, you know, you got all these rappers and everybody talking this bullshit. But they ain't doing nothing for us. They ain't doing nothing for our communities and this, that, and the third. And it's like, you know, either we hold the motherfuckers accountable or it's just going to be regular, mild, and smooth, like Fox said. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's going to be some regular <laughs> shit. But so, see, me, go ahead. I, 
I'm on some shit. Look, I'm on some shit like fuck Jay Z. Niggas with King Son, I'm asking you what the advice you're gonna get to young brothers that you see coming that way. So you ask me what advice I'm gonna give? Yeah, yeah, like that walk. What the fuck did he do to you, man? What are you talking about? That, that, walk down, I, that walk down that okay, path that Takashi walked down. Man. That's what I was asking. Fuck you, motherfucking brakes, nigga. Oh, crazy. Before I run up on you in Long Island. And after I find Fox, I'm going to find you, nigga. But what I'm saying, look, what I'm saying is to the young brothers and sisters out there, look, man, you know, go do your numbers. Right. But you know what? Keep your motherfucking faith and keep it black and keep it holy. And so let us all prosper from a motherfucking thing that we do. Right. You feel me? Right. Let us all prosper. Let us all build and let us get big and bumpy knuckles and let us get all big. Eric B and Rock Cam. Let us get all big and do our motherfucking numbers and our success stories. And let's give it back to the hood and let's keep it popping. I told you, Craig, if you get boxing, <laughs> yeah, no. you got two predators, you got a wolf and a lion <laughs> and a motherfucker. You know what? When I see Fox, you know what? Put the shit out to the listeners. King Sun gonna fuck up Freddie Fox when I see him. Yeah, yeah, and you know what's gonna happen? Y'all gonna, y'all gonna be a, the, the little eight niggas who remember you gonna be at your funeral crying like a motherfucker. <laughs> 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 that nigga, that nigga brain meat was all over, all the twenty fifth leaking like a fuck. Hey, all yo, all over the street. Hey, hey. hey, hold on, hey, hey, hey. You put the, the wrong niggas on the phone. Oh, no. Hey, Fox, tell me what you're going to do to me, Fox. Listen, hey. listen, you know what I'm really talking about? Y'all are crazy. I'm going to teach you guys and teach you how to exist in 2019 in a music business. Right, right. That'll save, that'll, that'll save your life instead of taking hey, your life. Right. Hey, check this out. We're going to wrap this up. We had a great session tonight. <laughs> He's crazy. Hey, Bump, man. Hey, Bump. Yo, son, you, I gotta give you credit. You are the first motherfucker to ever say it out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee you that. Hey, Bump. You that hey, Bump, I appreciate you jumping on the line with his crazy self, man. We had a great, great talk. Yeah. Hey, hey Bump, King Definitely. Stay tuned and you hey, bump. I got, I got, I got one. I got one thing that my man told me. Boston Rob told me to tell you what's up. That's my man. Oh, real Fox. Nah, Fox, Fox. My man, Boston Rob. I was on the phone with him earlier today. He said, "Yo, tell, tell Fox." I said, "What's up?" He know. He said, "When you say Boston Rob, he gonna know who I'm talking. He gonna know who you talk about." Man, come on, man. <laughs> Yo, you know he over hey, hey Bump, you know he over there sipping on something. I'm always no. See, Fox know I'm always sick. I've been sipping on something since I've been a rapper. But that shit don't mean nothing. <laughs> you better keep you better stick that shit on a New York strip state because I'm telling you, sir. You, you hey, hey. <laughs> hey, man, I appreciate it. Hey, I appreciate it. Y'all know it's all love. I'm going to make, I'm going to make, look, I ain't got no shit, I thought I had something, I ain't got no shit.
Peace, y'all. Peace, man. Talk to y'all. One. All right. <laughs> What's up? Hey, man. Hey. We, had, we had a great session tonight, my brother. That's my baby boy, <laughs> man. I love Buffy, man. I told you, man. You feel me? Yeah, man. Y'all That's two, two motherfucking predators. 